David Big D Adelaide, what a prospect he is, fighting out of the United Kingdom, and he packs a lot into those 212 pounds. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video here on DG Putty. So we're back for the first major content in quite a while to be honest as we're here for a Rise to Glory series as you've probably already seen by the thumbnail. So if you don't know, this Rise to Glory series will be about a professional boxer called David Adelaide. If you don't know who he is, he is a 9-0 pro, an up and coming Rise to Glory pretty much superstar as we are going to be taking him through... A, a couple video series went due to the limited uh, heavyweights in the game series. But other than that, we'll get down to the first ever Rise to Glory series and we'll break down the video up until the fight. You can probably see here, this is what David Adelaide looks like in the Undisputed Boxing game. He looks very accurate to real life. I'll probably put a comparison right here for you guys. But yeah, there you go. You've seen David Adelaide. So now, you probably guys are probably wondering who is David Adelaide going to be first in, in his first ever boxing match on DG Party? So, That's a good question. I'm not going to tell you guys just yet, but it is a big, big fight for the first one. Five minutes later. Here we go. I'll put on the screen right now. Here it is. Yes, it is a Joe a Joyce. Joe Joyce is a very, very famous heavyweight uh, boxer. This game, I have chosen him as the first competitor against us as David Adelaide because he is the technically the second lowest rated boxer other than um, us. But there is another boxer of Eddie Hall. He isn't really a boxer when I say he's a boxer. He has had one fight against Thor. Here's the contract for you guys on the screen right now that I made. It's a bit of a little custom one I did. I actually quite like how I made it. But on the screen, just has the information that the that both managers recognises that this fight is a potential fight that will be happening. And that this fight will probably be happening on the 3rd of June 2023 at the O2 Arena in London at roughly 10 o'clock london time this video won't be coming out then that's just a fake thing that i put in the contract to make it look as real life but there there we have it my signature below so this fight so far is going ahead until fight night because sometimes you don't know some fighters pull out due to injury and stuff but oh, fingers crossed david adelaide does get to fight against joe joyce because we do want to get our first win here of this series yeah, so we will be versing joe joyce in the first match we are going to go down and have a look at some words that David Adelaide has to say about Joe Joyce. Look, you've just seen this man uh, weigh in, looking pretty good on the scales, Big D. Feeling good? Yeah, man, I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah. Just done the training now, all the hard work's done. He's six foot six. He's a big guy. What did you see when you looked up into those eyes? He's going to be six foot six when I hit him. What a great thing to say. What you height know. will he be? I don't know, how tall are you? You lie down. <laughs> it's but a good question. Strong words coming from David Adelaide there. Joe Joyce did have a response back to it, so I'll show you guys now the response that Joe Joyce has back towards David Adelaide. And he said that your, jo your jaw even is going to pieces on Saturday night. Confident talk. Fighting talk. It's about to go down. But this is the quiet before the storm. But, mate. Right, I'm, I'm getting fired up, hold me back. So there you go, these two fighters are up and about for this fight now. They do want to get this started. If you don't know, I'll put on a poster that I've made right now on the screen. This fight that will be happening will be on the 3rd of June 2023. This video will probably be coming out on the 3rd of June or 4th, depending on when I can get it out. But hopefully this is a banger of a video for you guys. So there we have it. all the information's out of the way. And now I've got a bit of footage to show you of some inspiring footage that David Adelaide has done with the famous Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King. So this will be interesting to see. Just show you a couple seconds of it because I do not want to expose David Adelaide. Inspiring footage there. Looks like David Adelaide's in some good form here. Hopefully we can get his first win. But having a look as well, couldn't find any footage of Joe Joyce doing any sparring. I think he wants to keep on the download. Doesn't want, want David Adelaide or any of the public to know what he's done so far. So it'll be surprised to see what he's like on fight night as he is a fairly old competitor compared to David Adelaide. But other than that, you've seen both fighters 
and now we'll have the last words that David Adelaide has to say about Joe Joyce. I mean, the fight does happen, how does it go? Adelaide knockout brutality. Trust me. Fast. Early, as, as early as he wants it to be. It ends with Adelaide knockout, though. Facts. David figures. But that's the last words that David Adelaide has to say about Joe Joyce. Now we'll go down to Joe Joyce. We'll see what he has to say. We're nearer and nearer the fight, and I've done like quite a few face-offs now. I've looked in his eyes, and I can see that he's hungry and he wants it, and it's a great opportunity for him. So, right there, he's going to come in all guns blazing, and so am I. It's, and we're both going to crash in the middle, and everyone else is going to watch it, and then. I get the knockout and get the win and then uh, I can march on on my journey to then take in the other titles. Hey guys, he heard from Joe Joyce, they're both fired up and now let's get down to the action at the O2 Arena in London and let's see who is the king of the night here at the main event between David Adelaide and Joe Joyce. are looking live at the WBC Arena. My name is Todd Grisham, and watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? It's time for our tale of the tape. It is Joe Joyce, the juggernaut, a massive 80 inch reach, six foot six inches tall, so much height behind this guy. And his opponent, David Adelaide, six foot four inches tall with a 77 and a half inch reach. It is Joe Joyce, the juggernaut, one of the hardest hitters in the division. Not many fighters hit harder than the juggernaut. David Big D Adelaide, what a prospect he is, fighting out of the United Kingdom, and he packs a lot into those 212 pounds. It'll be ding ding from first bar, they're off. And with that, let's go into the ring, and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, from London, England, and standing at six feet six inches, here is a British Commonwealth International and European heavyweight champion, the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. Fighting out of the blue corner, introducing from London, England, here is Big D, David Adelaide. Alrighty guys, here we go. It's a 10 round, uh, 10 round sorry, boxing match, not a 12. This was as, let's get started into it. Throw a couple jabs, let's get this going. I've turned the difficulty down to, I think a pro, not to undisputed, just because David Adelaide is rated quite a bit lower than Joe Joyce, just to make it a bit more of an even match as what it would probably be like in real life. But I don't think these two will ever fight against each other because these guys are pretty much like teammates. But other than that, ooh, we do clip him there, so not too bad. We're trying to work our distance out here because we do not want to go three rounds down and we're behind the pace because it's not the best way to start a boxing match so we need to capitalize on many punches as possible trying to hit them on target we don't want any to miss really because if it does come down to a split decision it's, we do not want to lose that as there's three seconds left we throw a massive hook two hooks there and an uppercut to end out the round we were dominating that one as our health and stamina is at 100% and we've got no cuts no swelling no pretty much nothing as we're both look both fighters look fairly healthy going into the second round. Because let's go. Let's get this underway. Second round. Just ducking down. Just trying to peel our way out. Do even a bit of head movements. Taunting Joyce here to hopefully make him throw a punch. As he's not throwing a punch. Let's just pepper him then. As he does throw. Oh, we clip him with an uppercut. Good shot. Oh, he tried to throw a hook. Just misses. Oh, clips us. Not that powerful from Joyce, really. Didn't feel it too... Too much on our head there. As that's a couple good jabs. Oh, good hook. He just left his head wide open there. As that was a good block. Oh yes, both exchange a punch there. So I just moved back. Good jab. Couple jabs. Another jab. 
Right, left. Oh, good hook. Oh, we get clipped. We'll just move back as the stamina does let go a little bit from us there. Go for a second. Let our stamina come back up for the last two seconds. Throw a couple shots. Back off. That's the end of the second round. Here we go. Third round. We'll just keep into our corner there. We'll let Joyce come to us. Let, let him waste his stamina. As back off here as Joyce is starting to throw a bit more punches now. Oh, hook. Gets us with a hook, I was about to say. I mean, a uppercut. Oh, he's trying to get some jabs in there. We can't quite because Joyce is letting his hands go here. That was a good straight jab from us, from our right hand. Another couple from our left. That's a, oh, that's a massive hook. I don't know how he's still standing up from that. Oh, yes. Good jab to, to push Joyce off away from us there. Switch stance. Just throw a jab there. Oh, we both connect at the same time. Imagine if we both got knocked down at the same time. That'd be unreal. But anyway, we're getting into a bit of a scrap here. Just need to break it off. As this isn't, isn't probably the most technical boxing match ever. We are wanting to get the knockout. As... Alrighty, four rounds. We're going, we're going into the fourth round now. And it looks like Joe Joyce is behind us right now by a point. So we're in a good spot. Let's keep this up. Don't get too ahead of ourselves. Throw a couple jabs. Throw another one. Get right in close because I know Joyce hates getting in close. Because we know Joe Joyce has a longer arm reach than us. So better getting close than staying a little bit too far. Because I reckon Joe, Joe Joyce could capitalize on his arms. Oh, good jab. Oh, another jab. Do what? A straight right jab is really good. Oh, another straight right jab, although we did get caught with a punch, but... Oh, good uppercut to the chest. Oh, just misses the hook. Come on. Oh, a couple more jabs. Oh, he cleaned us with a good hook there to our chin. We'll just back off a little bit. Let's get out of there. Five seconds left. Oh, he's rocked a little bit, Joyce. Oh, caught him with a couple uppercuts there in the last second of that round. If we have a look at the stamina, we're fairly even when it comes to health. Looks like Joyce's head is a little bit, had a little bit more damage than us. Still fairly even though. To the fifth round now, far out. I can't believe it's five rounds gone. We'll jabs through his guard. Looks like Joyce's face is fairly red on his right side, so let's take advantage of that, really. As we can't quite get the hook quite through, because we've got a fairly strong defensive uh, hands, or guard, pretty much. Can't quite get the jab through, so we might go an uppercut. Yeah, that's better. Oh, I've got no stamina. I need to back off as I've missed probably about four shots there. Sixth round already. Five more rounds to go. Including this one. As we're just spamming the hook button here pretty much. And they're not landing. Probably not the best for our shot selection and for our stamina. As we just need to get Joyce off of us here. As we want to be the one that's the aggressor, not Joyce. Oh, gets us there. Step back a little bit. Tell you what, David Adelaide, we are cooking his stamina a bit more than what Joyce is, but we're trying to get more punches into equal, hopefully tiring Joyce out here as we're getting him a little bit rocked here, Joyce. As we need to get out of here. We've got no stamina. Get out, get out before he knocks us down. Alrighty, looking at the scorecard, it is dead even. This couldn't be uh, more of an even matchup here. As I forgot to tell you, we do win this match. We will be calling out the 2017 World Strongest Man of Eddie Hall as he does want to get back into boxing and I do want to take him on. He'll probably be the biggest challenge so far as Eddie Hall is 300 uh, pounds or limbs or whatever it's called in the UK. I'm not too sure what it is in kilos, but yeah, he will be the biggest test, the biggest heavyweight. 
Although he might not be the most technical, but it will give us a run for our money. But he's looking at David Adelaide as the next potential fight. So we need to win this one, hopefully, to get to Eddie Hall. But we're not going to be talking about Eddie Hall much more. We need to get through this fight before we talk any more jabs from us. Or we'll get an uppercut in there. Yes, good. Or two uppercuts. And Joyce comes back with a body shot. Or gets us by the chin there. We need to get back, get back a bit. Oh, this is turning into a scrap, I tell you. Oh, good jab. A lot of spray coming off of his body. It's probably all the sweat build up. And saliva, probably from their mouth opening up after getting hit. Oh, just missed there. Couple jabs thrown. And that's the end of the seventh round. Good even round there from both of us. Very equal on our health there. Our stamina is a little bit down on Joyce. As we've probably thrown a lot more punches, so that's probably why. As we'll come into the center, we'll meet Joyce again. We've got three round, four rounds left, sorry, of the fight. We'll get him in the chest again. Good body shots from us, all good head shots. Oh, we're all over Joyce now. But Joyce does fire back, so we need to get out of there, get out of there. Lucky. Oh, some good hooks. Oh, Joyce is not liking that. Looks like Joyce has got a cut on the side of his head there. As Joyce's head's not the greatest so far. We need to get out of there. We've got no stamina. Get out. Good. Oh, yes. Good shots. Look at the... Can't quite see the cut. Oh, you can see the cut now. He's got a bit of blood coming from his eyebrow. That's good from us. Means that the knockout isn't far away, hopefully. Hopefully we don't get knocked out now. It'd be funny if we do get knocked out. Crash talking gone wrong, pretty much. As we're doing a good couple jabs, nice uppercut. Joyce couldn't quite connect with the uppercut. As we're just throwing a lot of hooks and uppercuts from us, a couple jabs, and we are not using our guard much yet. We need to get out of there. As I tell you what, we've got a bit of blood on our gloves from Joyce's face. That's good signs. We're capitalizing on some good left straight jabs. Get a couple right ones in there. Good head movement, or oh, we get caught there. Oh, and that's the end of the eighth round. Look, we're on top of the match here a little bit. As look at the cut on Joyce's face. That would hurt, I tell you that. Two rounds to go. Oh, yes. Come on. Looks like Joyce's cut did get uh, uh, boys back together, so no more blood. Hopefully, we can. Hope we can make that up, come back open. As we'll just aim, hopefully for be his right side of his head where the cut is. Exchanging quite a few jabs there. I'll tell you what, we've got a, quite a bit of blood on our glove there from Joyce's face. As it looks like his wound is back open as we get stunned there by a good shot by Joyce. A couple little jabs in close. As, oh, that's a good body shot by Joyce. Oh, we both hit each other at the same time. Luckily, we both didn't get rocked enough to be down there. Oh, Joyce is getting absolutely pummeled here. Same as David, really. As I need to get out. Oh, no, our head's knocked. Get out, get out, get out. Get out of there. Get out. All right, let's settle down here. 30 seconds left. All right, let's... Get out, we've got no stamina, we don't want to get rocked again. Oh, what a shot. Oh, oh no, oh no, we've been knocked down. We have been knocked down. Oh, let's get him up. Let's get him up, let's get him up. Let's get him up, let's get him up. Yes, oh, we just got up in time. And the bell did go as well, so we're quite lucky there. We'll get the recovery time. Oh, that round will be going towards Joyce there. Alrighty, I just realized my webcam stopped working, but anyway, we're back into the fight. We need to win this round now, because we did get knocked down in the last round. Let's see what we can do. Oh, a couple good jabs from us. Oh, just sneaking the hook there. Did throw another two, but didn't quite land. 
One minute left of the last round. Let's get this going. Joyce isn't looking the greatest right now. We need to... Oh, get back, get back. 30 seconds left. Oh, no. This might go to the judges, I'm pretty sure. It's, oh, no. Get out of there, mate. Get out, get out, get out. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three. Two. One. And that's the end of the match. Let's see what the referee chooses. Oh, no, we've lost it. We have lost the match. It looks like we won't be versing Eddie Hall in the next match. It looks like we probably will have to have a rematch. As I tell you what, that is so unfortunate. Oh, we've lost our first match. Come on, as we have a look at the scorecards. Oh, no. Looks like two out of the three judges did score Joyce, the favorite man to win, as he did win pretty much. And it looked like the first judge did score at 95 to 94, 98 to 91 to Joyce. And the last judge did score it in our favor by a point, but it wasn't quite enough to win it. And I reckon Joyce did win it due to the knockdown that he did do on us. Ah, oh, that is not the best. So it looks like we'll probably have to verse Joyce again in the next video.